today's video, we have a trip from August. A nice group of school bluefin had shown up in the inshore 15 to 20 mile range on the 20 fathom lumps. Colin, Wes, and myself got an early start before sunrise so we could be on the grounds before the sun was up to try to take advantage of the bite. You'll see the fish aren't really big. They're mostly in the 20 to maybe 50-ish pound range, but we had a lot of fun on light tackle and we caught most of our fish on the jig. Later on in the video, I'm gonna go over some of the tackle that we used, both for jigging and for bait fishing these smaller bluefin. That's what mine did at the uh, Little Italy bite. Jesus, what the f***ing marks right now. Colin, look at that. Look at the machine. Oh my god. <laughs> No. How's this for the scene? Fighting fish. Beautiful sunrise. Don't get any better than that, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Just came off. Wow. How that? Big as the other one, but I'll take. It. Oh my God! Look at the marks. Cool. <laughs> oh my God! I've never been so happy to fucking watch one of them. There he is.
elephant. The elephant? Got this one up with. This is a better bluefin, so. I was gonna say he doesn't even really know he's hooked yet. <clears throat> this would be interesting. Oh boy. Right here. Not that small either. It's not that small. <laughs> So as you saw on today's trip, we were catching a lot of these smaller bluefin, both jigging and on bait rods. So I decided I would go over some of the tackle that we were using today, just to give you an idea of what can be used. So we'll start off on the bait fishing side of things. For my chunking rods, they're actually multi-purpose. These are the rods that I use for trolling as well. Now these are custom Calstar Boomer Junior 3080 blanks with Talica 25 two speeds. I have the Talica 50 handles on here. It helps give much better leverage when you're fighting a fish compared to the stock Talica 25 handles. Now these setups, while I use them for trolling and bait fishing and whatever else, they're actually still very light. You could fish this quite easily, you know, both without a harness or anything else. If you do need to go into a harness, it has harness lugs here, but these are very good multi-purpose rods. In terms of how I'm rigging for these fish. It's very important these rods have AFCO Bigfoot wind-on guides, which makes it easy when you're short-handed and you don't have to deal with wiring the fish to the boat. So how I have this rigged is I have my main line to a Spro Power Swivel to this is 60 pound fluorocarbon. We'll fish anywhere from 80 down to 40, even 30 if we need to go that light to get a bite. 
and I'm just fishing very small eagle claw inline circle hooks. So I'll keep all my circle hooks organized, all different sizes and everything else. I think these are four aughts. And you know, you'll size it to whatever bait you're using. With the circle hooks, you don't need to worry as much because it's gonna get lodged in the corner of that fish's jaw. So by using these wind on guides, you have the ability now to basically wind, wind as the fish is coming up, you can wind right, that swivel right through the guides. And you can wind that fish right up to the boat. So you don't need to wire it, you don't need to worry about that. And you can actually fish lighter leaders this way. So we were catching a lot of these fish today on sardines and actually on whole squid. And this is just a good, you know, you take off your snap swivel or whatever you're using for trolling. It's a good multi-purpose, both trolling and chunking setup. It's very lightweight. As for jigging, so you saw today, I was using uh, mainly the bait rod. My, I've gone over this in other videos, but my favorite jig rod, especially for smaller fish, this is a custom Black Hole 250 built by Tim Shaw, Hail Mary Custom Rods and Gaffs. Has a 8,000 twin power on it. And this is a 250 gram rod. You know, this fish is great. This rod is great for, you know, fish 100 pounds and less. Um, I'll get back to the jigs that we were using. So some of the other rods you saw us using in the video. Wes was using a Centaur jigging rod. I believe he has a combat arm. This is the Constellation, so it's similar to that. This was the previous generation where they were all bright red. Now I think everything is black. And again, I have a Twin Power 10,000 on this. But again, very light. When you see it in comparison to the Black Hole 250 in the tip, you can see how much lighter it is. But this rod can still handle a ton of drag. We've caught close to 60 inch bluefin on this rod, but it's very fun for these small school bluefin and also small yellows. Another rod, which is a great option, uh, that Colin was using, this is the Shimano Type J. I think they're grappler Type Js now. This is the heavier one, the S586. So this is rated for a max jig weight of 300 grams. Again, Still has a pretty light tip on it for working those smaller jigs, but we've caught pretty big bluefin on this rod. Again, this is a 10,000 uh, twin power on here. We have all the fancy, you know, jigging handles, the power handles on here. It just feels more comfortable when you're jigging all day. But this is another great option, you know, different price points from your most expensive, your custom black hole, down to your Centaur, which is more of a budget, but still works great. And then somewhere in the middle, you have the Shimano. All really good options and you saw how well they work today. In terms of the jigs that we were using, almost all the fish we caught in this video were on these pink glow nomads. So obviously the fish are feeding on sand eels. This looks like a sand eel, that profile, the pink glow. For whatever reason they like that glow, they like the pink. This is 120 gram size. We'll also go down, sometimes you could fish down to like an 80. This is a CB1 F1, another 120 gram, but you can see it's slightly smaller. And then the Hoagie sand eel jig, 100 gram. You know, basically you're looking for this profile to imitate the sand eels that you're catching. And of course, you know, as I've shown in other videos, this one's beat up from catching fish, but I use custom homemade assist hooks. But you really want to size it to the size of the jig to get down there about three quarters. And again, just real quick to go over the rigging. We're using a special jigging swivel with a larger second ring on the bottom. So you can directly attach your assist cord to your assist hook with a split ring to the jig. So as you're fighting that fish, you are directly connected and the jig is able to swing free and it doesn't give any leverage if you had a hook coming off the bottom here. Not only is the jig now the weakest link, that fish has that leverage to pop that hook out. So again, just a real quick, you know, coverage of what kind of tackle we were using today. You know, all the different budget levels, whatever works for you. There's plenty of good options out there now from the really expensive custom stuff down to, you know, there's plenty of good budget things out there now. Um, you know, the, the Centaurs, I think Hobie makes a rod, Shimano, you know, everyone makes 
great tackle that can handle these smaller types of fish. My main thing is, is in this particular video, Wes was using um, a Shimano Spheros, and we found that even on these small bluefin, he had to lock the drag all the way down just to get it to like around 15-ish pounds to be able to stop these fish and not fight them all day. And those are small fish. So in my opinion, if you're going to be doing a lot of this targeting of any size tuna, even if you think they're just going to be smaller, go for the Saragossa. Go for a twin power. You know, it's you might not need all the drag that they could do. You're not going to use 55 pounds of drag fighting a school bluefin, but the drag is going to be much more efficient in those lower levels and you're not going to burn the reel up.